Six Flags Fiesta Texas Explain Six Flags Fiesta Texas is a theme park located in San Antonio, Texas, USA. The park originally opened its doors in 1992 under the shorter name of Fiesta Texas. It was initially constructed and owned by the Gaylord Entertainment Company before being purchased by Six Flags in 1996. As of now, the park spreads over 200 acres of land and is host to more than 40 different attractions. Six Flags Fiesta Texas is split up into six areas, each of which reflect the aspects of the state of Texas. For example, the Spassburg area features a German-themed village reflecting the German heritage found in the state. The park itself operates seasonally, between March to December. Prior to Fiesta Texas being built, the site was a limestone quarry created in 1934. As a result, a large section of the park is encased by the high walls of the quarry. The park debuted with two roller coasters, one of which, named Kitty Coaster, still operates today. Kitty Coaster is a small Vacoma Junior coaster which can be found within the children's area of the park. The second roller coaster, originally named Rattler, was a wooden roller coaster constructed by the Roller Coaster Corporation of America. Rattler was closed in 2012, allowing it to be transformed into the hybrid coaster, fittingly named Iron Rattler. Iron Rattler was constructed by Rocky Mountain Construction and features the famous steel eye box track on top of a wooden frame. The ride opened in 2013 as one of the first RMC hybrids in the world. The experience consists of a 171 foot twisted drop, an angle of descent of 81 degrees and a top speed of 70 miles per hour. Other elements include four overbank curves, a zero-g roll and a tunnel. The third roller coaster installed at the park was Joker's Revenge which operated between 1996 and 2001. The ride is a coma looping coaster and currently resides in the non-operational Six Flags New Orleans. A year later, Roadrunner Express, a well-themed aerodynamics mine train, opened to the public. Roadrunner Express features two chain lifts, allowing for a long track length of 2,400 feet. Because of its interaction with the quarry wall and smooth ride experience, some consider it one of the best mine trains in the world. The 1999 season brought two new roller coasters to Fiesta, Texas. Firstly, Boomerang, a Vacoma Boomerang coaster, opened towards the start of the year, while Poltergeist, a premier ride launch coaster, opened mid-season. Boomerang is the standard Vacoma shuttle coaster, identical to the many found around the world. Poltergeist, on the other hand, is an LIM launch coaster capable of reaching speeds of up to 60 miles per hour. The ride is the exact same as the three other spaghetti ball coasters in the US. The main characteristic of these attractions is an incredibly dense region of track in which the trains quickly navigate. A single year later, in 2000, saw the completion of Superman Krypton Coaster. The ride is the tallest and fastest B&M flawless coaster in the world. It measures 168 feet high, has an iconic 145 feet vertical loop and reaches the top speed of 70 miles per hour. Superman is widely regarded as one of the best flawless coasters in the world due to its intensity and interesting use of the terrain. As of the 2016 season, the coaster currently operates with a virtual reality option. Some enjoy the alternative experience, but others dislike the increased wait times. 2006 saw a name change and expansion to the resort's water park, named Whitewater Bay, the area features many slides and over 10 water attractions. The park is also scheduled to add a water coaster, the first of its kind in the US, in 2017. Fiesta Texas also features a large array of flat rides. In addition to the typical Six Flags Looney Tunes family rides, visitors can also find an elaborately themed log flume, skyscreamer, top spin, and SNS triple drop tower. On top of that, guests can experience multiple unique family attractions, such as Hustler or Scooby Doo Ghost Blaster. Another notable attraction is the park's train ride, which at one point passes through the quarry wall. Six Flags Fiesta Texas also holds a variety of live entertainment for guests. While most of the shows focus on singing and dancing, Lone Star Nights, perhaps the park's most iconic show, offers a different entertainment. This musty experience combines fireworks and projection mapping on the quarry wall in an unbelievable event that no visit to Fiesta Texas would be complete without. Several other events also occur at the park, including Fright Fest and Holiday in the Park. Fright Fest is a Halloween themed event consisting of haunted houses and live actors spread throughout the resort, while Holiday in the Park is a Christmas themed event in which the park is decked out with millions of lights. In 2007, Fiesta Texas constructed Pandemonium, a Gerslauer spinning coaster. This was quickly followed by Goliath, a B&M inverted roller coaster. Goliath was removed from a non-operating Six Flags New Orleans in which it operated under the name of Batman the Ride. Interestingly, the ride is a mirror image of the original Batman layout found on many inverted roller coasters around the world. The park's newest coaster, also named Batman the Ride, often confuses many enthusiasts. Batman currently stands as the world's first SNS 4D free spin. 
similar to Intamin Zaxpins, the ride freely spins guests in their seats as they navigate the track. Unfortunately, after its opening in 2015, the ride now features multiple clones throughout the US, meaning the once original ride is no longer the only one of its kind. While Fiesta Texas may not have the most impressive roller coaster lineup compared to other Six Flags parks, its excellent atmosphere, unique attractions, good food, and great customer service keeps visitors coming back for more. For this reason, many consider it the prettiest park in the Six Flags chain and a must visit.